Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? What's going on, everybody? It's Super Dave. Back at it again with the PA Political Revolution podcast. We back here to give you another good episode was and, and letting everybody know what's going on with the local politics, how gruesome it is, how diabolical it is, how trash it is, how these individual individuals will basically lie to you, right? These individuals will basically lie to you. And and what we're going to go ahead and, and, and jump off into on this episode, right? On this episode of the uh, Revolution Podcast, we're going to be talking about going to be talking about the um, the mayor's travel, right? The mayor's travel and some of uh, Ken and Mark's comments he had made, and pretty much it's going to be kind of like a reaction video, right? So we're just going to go ahead on jump into it, and let's go ahead and um, go ahead and get started with it, right? Here we go. Oh no 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 see Which uh let me go with it. Yeah. It's over the, uh, this No no I thought I had it queued up again. Here we go. One million dollars. You know, I'm kinda I'm kinda rushing a little bit trying to knock this Elevation. out. Well, trying uh, to knock this out. Here we go. Recognitions of uh correspondence and uh no discussion in there. Um, let's see. This section. I'm going to be pulling up some of our team's travel. Uh, unfinished business. Is Mr. Harris, not any. And Here we go. Yeah. But I also, uh, I'm going to move back to item three. Here we go. There's on the travel request. Okay. Item three. Uh, page okay. three. Page okay. three. I'm sorry. Page three. Item three. Yeah, a. they're trying to figure this out. We're about to talk about request Mark's comments. Reports. Okay. And about the travel uh, with boy A1, A2, A2, or both of them? Both. Okay. Okay. Any other items? Okay, that would be item A on page three, A1 and A2. Uh, page four, item number six, and page ten. I mean, excuse me, page uh, five, item number ten. Any others? I'd like to entertain a motion now with the exception of items A, A1, and A2, item 6, and item uh, 10. We would get a motion for approval of the consent agenda, uh, Councilwoman Holmes. So moved, Mayor. Thank you. A second, Councilman Marks. A second. Okay, to move and second that we would... Approve the consent agenda with the exception of the named items. Are we ready for questions? See if there are no questions, ready to vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposers? Okay, the ayes have it. It's ordered that we would accept a consent, excuse me, agenda with the exception of the three items that we will now go over individually. We will begin with item A on page three. And that would be a yes item A, and that would be both uh, sections up. Excuse me, item A. Uh, may I get a motion for approval, Councilman uh, Mark? Hey, I, I do apologize, but this this is the issue with the council, right? Doesn't know how to conduct a goddamn meeting. Doesn't know what the fuck the flip is going on, right? And so that's why we got all this type of confusion. So move. Okay, may I get a second? Uh, Council McKinlaw? Okay, to move and second. That we would accept uh, items A on page three of the consent agenda. Uh, we're ready for question. Council Marks? Question. Here we go. Uh, for the record, I uh, just want the public to know I received a, an email or a text on yesterday concerning the uh, travel expenses, uh, and I'm going to read a portion of that, and then I'm going to give you some detail. Uh, I won't identify the person that that, that sent this, but uh, I took it. Uh, I took it as a what as the way he meant it, and and that's why I'm bringing it to council today. And this is what it read. 
if you vote to approve any more of Thurman's or Frank's trips when I stand in front of council, I will be, and there's some bad grammar here, I will be to make sure you totally get it. Dude, you are a complete sellout to this city. I'm not going to read the rest of it, but I just want to give some background. This is the type. No, no, no. I have the I have the letter right. They, they, they just letters from Chuck. At first, I thought it was me calling him a sellout, but you know, other people have uh, seen it. Right? It, it's, it's one of his constituent is one of its constituents in District Four, named Chuck Vincent. Right? He put, um, if you vote to approve any more of Thurman and Frank's trips, when I stand in front of council, I will be to make sure you totally get it. Do you are a complete sellout to this city? What you did to Rashard was also wrong, just like when you took me off the Chiefs team. Not even a phone call to either of us. Cannot wait till re-election time. You're going to be replaced with myself. So understand, right? He didn't want to read all of that because he know he did some people wrong. He know he did, according to this gentleman, uh, the one that sent the letter, Mr. Benson, right? He done him wrong by taking him off the... Uh, the uh, the police uh, the police team I forgot what you call it and um police doesn't team whatever it is right and they did the same thing with him they did to Mr Harris didn't tell him anything just did the cowardly way and just took him off just just didn't be just wasn't a man about it and addressed both of the men you know to their face or to the phone or you know whatever but that's the part he's leaving out you know people call him on the um Rashard Harris thing thing that uh, I imagine other council people are, are getting from this person and some of the people that he, he frequents the internet, Facebook, with all this trolling type stuff. But uh, the, the two items in question here are the travel expenses for the mayor and the mayor pro tem to go to the National League of Cities annual conference. And... Uh, on the agenda, it shows that the expenses were $4,700 for the mayor and $4,300 for the mayor pro tem. Damn. But I, I went back and, and did some research uh, with the agendas to, to see exactly what uh, our, our uh, historical data shows us. And I went back to, to, to uh, 2017. And and I'm going to give you some, some information because I want this for the record so that when, whenever this comes before us again, uh, we, will, we will know uh, that there is a precedent for what is happening as for travel is concerned. Uh, in April of 2017, uh, there were three city council persons that traveled to the, the National League of Cities Conference from March 11th to uh, March 16th. Uh, the total for that, that trip was uh, $9,300. Uh, <laughs> and, and so let me get this straight, right? I'm just, it was really like my second time, really, you know, checking it out. So this nut is giving you some outdated data about council members doing this, right? But the ignorant son of a female dog, right? The ignorant son of a female dog has not told you about the, the, the um, they redid the travel. They know they redone the travel, right? They redone the travel policy, so I don't know why in the hell this ignorant ass clown is giving you old, outdated data. What the hell is going wrong? They've amended their travel ordinance since then because all these people was taking all this money and, you know, just doing whatever with it. But I'm, I'm going to show you on that. But let, let's see what this, what this guy got to say. Broke down to like $3,400 for one council person, $2,300 for second council, and $3,500 for the third council. In 2018, now, uh, the there was only one person that that traveled to the National League of uh, Cities conference, and it was the uh, cost for that trip was forty seven hundred dollars. Then in twenty nineteen, for the 
for the conference. There were uh, there was a mayor's conference where the mayor traveled, uh, thirty five hundred dollars, and then there were three uh, council people that traveled to the national National League of City Council, council. Uh, and thirty eight hundred dollars, thirty six hundred dollars, and thirty six hundred dollars for a total of eleven thousand two hundred and seventy three dollars. In 2020, when we were in the midst of the COVID, uh, uh, the COVID uh, virus, the mayor uh, went to a virtual summit. And although we had a, had a budget that that would be commensurate with previous travel expense budgets, he traveled. Uh, he spent $220 for the uh, TML virtual summit and the NLC virtual summit was $295. So there five, only $515 <laughs> were spent in 2020 for those travel expenses. That's a damn video. And then in 2021, the total expenses for the legislative wrap up and the National League of Cities conference total there were five uh, participants, only $2,300 were spent. And the point I'm trying to make here is, is that we were getting these, uh, these. No, before you go ahead on and say what you're about to say, what you need to understand what a better ideal is, right? You should have gotten a total amount of Mayor Bortiz travel from the time he started as a, uh, the mayor, and until now. That would have been a better uh, uh, summation of how much you spend. That's what you need to do, Marx. That's what you want. If you want to figure something out, that's what you need to kind of do and to give us a thing. Just give them the, these vague, what you call precedents. You need to get all of Bartee's trips, every last one he's traveled in. That's what you need to do. Text. Facebook posts or whatever concerning travel expenses. And this has been going on now for almost the last four or five months. And it's, it's like we're not being good stewards because we have our uh, leaders travel. No, you're not being good stewards of the money. Uh, Marks, if you goddamn was on the ED fucking C, the Economic Development Center as a board member, but for some fucking bright idea that you figure that you need to have the taxpayers pay for you and two other former EDC board members to take an entry level class about the EDC, what the fuck going on? Y'all have to be some of the dumbest son of a gun, son of a female dogs I have ever goddamn seen. And I can't believe you actually <laughs> went on the council to talk about the going to an ED to go and take a class, spend the taxpayers' dollars, and have um, go and take a trip to Round Rock to a beginning EDC class when you could have had um, Dr. Floyd Baptiste give you the thing for the regular payroll for nowhere near as much as you all bled the taxpayers for. Traveling to these conferences, but unless we have representation in these rooms and, and meeting and making connection with people, we're not going to be able to access the funding that, that, that is coming down from the federal level. You are a fucking liar. You are a fucking liar, Marx. If, I, if you was in my fucking face, I'd tell you, you are a fucking liar. Let me, let's play this dumb ass shit again. Or Facebook posts or whatever concerning travel expenses. And this has been going on now for almost the last four or five months. And it's, it's like we're not being good stewards because we have our uh, leaders traveling to these conferences. But unless we have representation in these rooms and, and meeting and making connection with people, we're not going to be able to access the funding that, that, that is coming down from the federal level. So you saying, let me get this shit right. This clown ass son of a bitch, right? 
is actually fucking saying he's he thinks we all are stupid, right? Like my one of my favorite things to say, they think you stupid. Now this ignorant clown son of a bitch, right? He's telling you that we let me let me just back this shit up one more time. Access the funding travel expenses and this has been going on now for almost the last four or five months. And it's it's like we're not being good stewards because we have our uh, leaders traveling to these conferences. But unless we have representation in these rooms, representation and in the room, and making connection with Main people, connection. we're not going to be able to access the funding not going to be able to access. That, that, that is coming down from the federal level. From the federal level, so this stupid lying son of a bitch, right? is actually sitting on council fucking telling you that you're not we are not going to have access to federal fucking money because we don't goddamn go to the goddamn um because you have to go to the goddamn meeting for fucking representation, right? Now let me tell you how stupid that motherfucking dumbass shit sounds, right? Now we all know they're going out of town, right? Out of state to most of these meetings they're going to. So this clown ass motherfucking sellout, right? Clown cowardly fucking lion, right? It, it is 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 goddamn telling you that you have to be there to get the fucking federal grants. No, let's 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 just think of this shit. Every fucking mayor in the goddamn in every fucking mayor of every fucking city. In this fucking country, you telling me everybody have to fucking go down there, fly out to each and all of these motherfucking meetings, right? Just to goddamn to make connections to get access. What? That shit don't even sound goddamn right, right? So understand, you think somebody in Port Arthur fucking Texas, um, 50,000 population, is going to get anything that's precedent over a major city like Los Angeles, major city like New York, major city like Miami, Houston, Dallas, Chicago, Illinois, uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, any one of these Oaktown, Cal- Oakland, California, San Francisco, any of these major cities, you think, any goddamn fucking mayor or council member is going to have to go to all these fucking meetings, right? That shit don't even make no goddamn sense. Now, let me jump over to you and show you how this stupid shit don't make no sense, right? We already have, well, first let me go here. First let me bring you over here, right? I got to do this shit from the goddamn scratch. I goddamn thought I had it queued up, but I'm kind of going off the uh, flyer. First, let me bring in this motherfucking site right here, right? TML.org. We're going to go to goddamn about resources. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go to resources. Um, business development. There's something with funding. i seen something over here that had funding. They had every goddamn piece of fucking funding doing the uh the city level, right? And connection corner of direction of publication, this coronavirus resources. Mission newly elected resources, region of small cities. Let me see right here. Let me see. Just now, fine thing, right? For the coronavirus stuff, right? All of not these are federal programs, right? A lot of these federal programs are passed down through the state. So just think about it. All the money that we had for the coronavirus, right? All these free shots and everything. You didn't have no goddamn mayor had to go travel to a, one of these fucking conferences, which they don't give any money out of They don't give any money. You don't fill out any applications over here for grant money, right? You, you, you think that they had to every fucking mayor every fucking city in every goddamn state in this country had to go fly somewhere to talk to somebody, 
to get some federal fucking money? No. Think about it, right? Think about when this ignorant son of a bitch, the mayor, right? Mayor Bortee, when he had, when he called the, um, when he called the, um, the evacuation early, right? And I was hitting him up. Now, remember, the, 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 the country has to call emergency, right? The state has to call the emergency first. Then the county has to call it emergency first, evacuation, right? And then the local cities has to call it. Because remember, you're trying to get that FEMA money, right? What uh, federal emergency system, some shit, whatever FEMA stands for, right? You have to go through a process to get that money. You don't have to, it's not driving, it's not flying and meeting, having fucking meetings to try to get some goddamn federal money. Think about it. When you need a FEMA money, did you have to go fly somewhere? No. Did the mayor have to go fly somewhere? No. It's put into place by specific, you know, procedures, right? Executive orders and things like that. And things that, you know, state handle, city handle. There's nothing that you have to go to a fucking meeting to do all this, right? You don't have to spend the taxpayers' dollars just to go ahead and get this shit, right? But this is all the executive order reading the open text, all this stuff here. Yeah, no, that's, that's some of the gallant stuff, but but you have a lot of but a lot of this money and stuff that came down through here. It, it, you don't have to do right. So all they were saying was a was a lie. Five open development directs some publication, helpful links, award newly elected resources. Into trains. Let me let me see something right here. Let me see. Let me see something right here. Okay, here we go. Right here. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Boom, grants, right? These are some of the doggone grants that you you can do right here. You, I, I just did Google. Well, Arts Project, Federal Grant Service Engine, State Grant Search Engine, with Beautification Grant. You know, you got Clean Up Grant. You know, you heard that stuff in the Beautification Committee, right? You know, we like to do them grants. Community Developed Block Grants, right? CDBG Block Grants. I know you probably heard about that. Block Grants for Rural Texas, Community Facility Design, Main Streets, Rural, Defense Economic, Downtown Improvements. I know you didn't heard about some money for downtown, right? This is where you kind of go to get all that and check all them things, right? For the um, for you know, TML, right? This is our um, what you call it, our legal, our legal pool, yeah, our legal sit, our legal um pool. If ever we need liability, if ever we need some type of legal assistance, we will kind of go to TML to look for it, right? And so you have we are paying for this resource, right? We're paying to be a member of it. And this is and this is resources that we all have, right? We have all of these grants. These are all of the grants that are available. Water and wastewater funding resources, right? We have uh, park and recreation grants. I know you've probably heard people doing things about parks and recreation. So all of these grants right here are things that's available to the city. And all you have to do, um, gee, just go to it. Call TMA or, or a city attorney is the one that will contact TML to get legal stuff and to get information like this from them. So um, Marx is a goddamn lie. You don't have to go to any kind of league. You don't have to spend money on these trips. That's a goddamn lie. Let me go ahead and uh, pull up uh, National Leagues. Let me see. Funding. Let me see, okay. Right here, I think this will be it right here. About the uh the NRC National Leagues of City, right? This is the national version of the Texas Municipal League. This will be the uh National League of Cities, right? Oh, let me see, make sure right here. There's a good grant access. Yeah, they have a grant here. This is the grant access. Yeah, they have a it's it's on here where they have a whole bunch of um grants and stuff where I gotta look, but I didn't queue it up. I'm kinda really just kinda freestyling a little bit. 
I'm kind of um. Funding for cities. Okay, here we. I think this. Yeah, this. Right. I think this it right here. This what I was looking for. Federal grant. Nah, 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 nah. Critical funds are coming to local communities through the American Rescue Act, right? Uh, and bipartisan infrastructure investment and job acts, right? The American Rescue Act. But see, all this money is going towards, like, this is federal money. The same federal money this clown is talking about. American Rescue Plan, right? This money is automatically coming to the city. You do not have to take no fucking trip to go over down there like this line son of a bitch Marx is trying to tell you. He's trying to tell you that we have to go down here, rub elbows with motherfuckers, and get this damn federal money. Fuck no. This is a goddamn lie. Making sure broadband boot camps. Conducting the federal grants program. Look. Federal grant navigation program is free of charge and your city will incur no cost for participating, right? Damn. So it really was something else I want to show you that, that had a that was pretty much that was pretty much a, a, a better breakdown of this, right? It was a bigger breakdown of it. But pretty much these federal money, man. These federal money, you don't have to um you don't have to goddamn you don't have to goddamn um, go over and take no trips or nothing like that. Let me go ahead and see. Okay, I think this may be it. Yeah, I think this. I think this is it right here. Grants.nlc.org. Right. National League says site to offer grants members only benefits. Right. Site new feature access to over. 10,000 grants, potential opportunity, combination of federal, state, and regional grants, right? Federal. Federal, right? The same thing Mark said you had to go to these meetings to do, but you don't do, you don't get grants to these goddamn meetings. They don't hand out no goddamn money at these meetings. Think about it, man. Think about it. Depends on you. It's not needed for the goddamn mayor to go out there because the mayor is only going to be there for about what? a term or two, who knows how long. So it's not needed for a city. Think about it. It's not a competition to get federal grant money, right? Because the federal, they, they break that down to everybody. So what the, the, the bullshit that Marx is saying, it makes it like it's a competition to get some goddamn federal grant money. So that's all of that trash is a lie, right? All of that's a lie. And, and even so, even so, right here, the uh, the NLC, right, National League of Cities, right, they even have the, the, the grant information out there, and even if you need a grant writer to write the grant for you, they have that service out there for you, just in case if you need it, right? But 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 this is some tried, and you know, this is some old tricks they like to play on you. This is old tricks. I'm going to go ahead and show you how old this is, right? But let's go ahead and talk about when we kind of, we kind of kicked the bucket on Carl Parker's contract. Let's kind of take a look at this. Let's take a look at this for a quick second. City of Port Arthur and its longtime legal counsel parting ways. City council members voted to cut former state senator Carl Parker's contract. That five to four vote was made at Tuesday's city council meeting. Our Jackie Massey joins us in studio tonight. How is Parker responding to this talk tonight? Well, Kevin and Erica, Carl Parker says he does not think the city council made the right move to terminate his contract, especially since he was in the middle of an arbitration case and argues he was lobbying at the Capitol. But Councilman Doucette says Parker was getting paid too much. Does it justify the money? No. That's what I need to be clear about. Councilman Harold Doucette says Carl Parker was getting paid by the city $6,000 a month and $72,000 a year to lobby for the city at the Capitol, which was costing taxpayers. We don't need to pay a person to go and monitor what's happening. He argues Parker never approached the city council for a resolution to lobby for the city in the first place, 
Doucette believes the city has enough representation with Representative Desotel in the Texas Municipal League. Oh, One oh, 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 there we go. Now, now this is not about um, Boss Hog, right? But the thing is, we already have things that, that represent the city. We already have things like Joe Deschatel, the state representative, and we have the Texas Municipal League. So we already have things in place that that looks out for the city, right, that we can pull and extract information from. So when you have people like Parker going, um, we paying him to do the same thing, right? When you have people like uh, the mayor and uh, Mark's line saying that we have to pay them to go on these trips so they can get the money, all of this is a complete goddamn lie. And I can see you have to understand the politics. You have to understand the history of these shit, right? These sell out son of a bitches, they replay the same lie every five or so years. Every about two years, five, sometimes ten, they'll replay the same goddamn lie and, and the trick a lot of newer people coming through, right? Uh, let me see if I hopefully I got this joker. Still back. Okay, here we go. Yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and go to another former council member that has um that's been hit on her travel expense. And let's go ahead and kind of Bring this up, right? Tonight, a first-term Port Arthur City Councilwoman seeking re-election is not touting one of her most significant achievements. In roughly two and a half years in office, Tiffany Hamilton has become the council's biggest spender on travel. Leaving many taxpayers wondering what they're getting from Councilwoman Hamilton's trips on their dime. In a special KFDM investigates, Angel San Juan crunches the numbers and seeks answers from Hamilton herself. Angel? According to records we obtained from Port Arthur City Hall, since August 2014, Councilwoman Tiffany Hamilton has spent more than 31,000 taxpayer dollars on travel. That's just a fourth of what the entire nine member council spent on travel combined during the same time period. But the councilwoman says she has no regrets and wonders why other council members are not traveling more. So the main thing on that one, she spent $31,000 on travel. So I, I know Bartiz is close to it or a little bit more. So understand when they are telling you this, I just showed you TML and I showed you the National Leagues of Cities where you can go to and get access to 10, 10 thousands of grants, a whole bunch of grants, TML, they had specific grants for the city and something more accessible right here. So <laughs> it's no reason to put up this. I'm going to go hit this live one more time and go kind of continue on what's going on here. Unless we have representation in these rooms and, and meeting and making connection with people, we're not going to be able to access the funding that, that, that is coming down from the federal level. Now, understand, let me tell you again, this is the same fucking lie over and over and over and over. They tell you, they just hoping you forget in a year or two, and they go take the same fucking lie, the same lie with Carl Parker. Going, that's why we had to use him. We go lose some money. We need him to, to monitor or look at or to think about doing something for the city. Well, now all that shit is bullshit, right? We have representation. Why are we paying more for it to tune a 6000 a month for Boss Hall, right? When we have Joe Deschatel, state representative, that's, hey, that's looking out for legislation and things that help this city, right? Also looking out for um, with TML. We have that resource where we pay into a risk pool with them, right? There's, there's a lot of legal advice, a lot of, City stuff is right there for us to use. Those are our resources. We are paying for them. We don't have to pay no slick talking ass mayor to go down there and to say some bullshit to some other folks, try to rub elbows, right? So once you listen to these son of a bitches lie, right? That's how you can call them out for all the bull crap that they do. Pardon my pardon my African, right? But I have to talk like this because I'm showing you exactly how they are lying to you and they think you are stupid. They really do. You can't really ration with these crooks, man. These are some 
some stone cold crooks in my opinion right let's let's go ahead on continue and and point in point an example i was sitting in the mayor's office discussing an issue concerning streets and he got a phone call from a group of investors who he had been connected to by the mayor of Houston. These folks were asking about a presentation that our EDC had had sent in for a $43 million plastics plant project. And the only reason why we got a chance to even, even present was because of the connection that the mayor of Houston made to Mayor Barty and these investors. We eventually, we, we ended up... Now understand, we told you before it's about the EDC's money. Now I'm glad this clown brought that up, right? What, what, what I've heard, right? What I've heard, what people have been rumbling about around the area, Barty likes to bring these individuals from Houston over to Port Arthur to try to get some EDC money to work out a deal, right? And the reason when they don't qualify for the money, they'll get shut down. So so that's what the last podcast I had with Rashad Harris was talking about. I showed you that one when um when Angel San Juan did a story on that. So they so these bringing these unqualified people in that they are risk to the money. So they don't go by the format that every other person goes by, right? So they get kicked out. So they don't get the money. So that's why they're mad, and that's why they want to rearrange the whole EDC so they can be on the council so they can pick and choose the people that they're friends with or whoever they've talked to in Houston. Hey, I can work this deal for you, allegedly, right? So that's what they're mad about. Up not getting that project, even though they gave us an extension to send in a, a, a second presentation because the first one was not up to what they call standard. Okay, yeah, it wasn't up to standard. It, it, it probably was some bull crap. They probably wanted EDC Monday money, probably had a bad business plan. Probably when, when, when you get in the EDC money, right, you have a lot of things that's supposed to have like the the uh the, the checks and balances, right? A lot of the checks and balances. Because you because the checks and balances is are, are needed there to make the keep the money to keep the money right, to keep the integrity of the process. Just like Mark saying it wasn't up to par. Most likely they brought a financial presentation and and a lot of the times the companies want the city to fund every goddamn thing while we fund their own business. So if something happened, hey, they're not really out of it, but the city's out of it. But hell, we don't get anything. We put in a bigger, um, putting a v- bigger investment up front. I'm just going back some. Let's take a, listen to this one more time. To send in a, a, a second presentation because the first one was not up to what they call standard. The Again, point I'm making here is, is that We, as a council in our budget process, actually budget for travel expenses for our leadership, whether it be the mayor or the mayor pro tem or city council. And it's for us to actually represent this city. Hold on, you son of a bitch. You have a travel ordinance. You have a revamp travel freaking ordinance. And just because you have a doggone Budget, that don't mean you have to waste the son of a bitch. That, that's how ignorant these motherfuckers are. That's why our cities ain't, ain't shit right now. Because ignorant son of a guns like him, Boy T, Frank, and, and a lot of the others, damn near all of them. To actually make connections so that we can benefit. What fucking kind of connections you going to make? Every, you think every fucking city have to go travel to a conference to make some connections to get the money. That's not how this shit works. Marks, you you don't call a fucking phone. You don't call a person and say, hey, I need me a few million dollars. Can you go ahead and send that down? No, that's not how it works at the fucking federal level. Come on, man. This is some bullshit he's giving you. 
from those type connections and, and get information that's going to help us to access state, federal, and county funds. I just told you, you can access that shit off TML and National League of Cities, say, not the conference. You don't go to conference to get the monies. You go to the goddamn sites. You go to the location where they say you can look up the goddamn grants. That's where you go, Mark. You don't pick up no fucking phone and say, hey, put me ahead of the line. And then goddamn think, you crazy son of a gun. Not that many people heard of Port Arthur over the fucking country. Do you think there's going to get, you think you're going to get anywhere? with? Oh, man. It, it's just so easy to goddamn knock down this stupid ass argument that Marx is making for the goddamn mayor. Now, you know the mayor sound fucking crazy. He don't even know how to conduct a meeting. And anyway, this is not the type of government. He can't go down there to do a hobnob anything because he doesn't have the authority to do it. Just like the last meeting, he wanted to goddamn go on this third fucking Washington, D.C. trip. But what happened? The council shut him down. This mayor is just like any other fucking council member. Now, the only way they can get the mayor to do some dumb ass shit like that is everybody have to vote on to it and agree exactly what they want the mayor to do to go and represent. They have to vote on each and everything they want him to do because this is not our government. It is not a strong mayor like in Houston with Sylvester Turner, right? There is no city manager because Sylvester Turner is the strong mayor slash city manager, right? Think about it. Why would we get fucking Barty to go ahead and make some goddamn deals with the city when he don't have a fucking clue of the streets or the infrastructure or any goddamn thing? The normal process would be talking to the city manager because the city manager typically runs the day-to-day operations of the fucking city. You don't do this shit with no manager, with, uh, with no fucking mayor in Port Arthur, and you have a city manager. The city manager is the one that talks to different people about different things. What the fuck, boy, tears go tell you about some kind of fucking plan? What is he going to tell you? What, what, what the fuck is he going to He don't know shit about it. What education does he have? Not fucking one. So you think he's been here, what, three or four fucking years is going to give you Three years that gives him some expertise on to talk to be able to talk about some type of fucking plant that he he just got through saying over the city manager when the city manager runs the city on a day to day basis. Come on now, this shit's laughable. And so I just want this to be on the record to say that we have some folk here who continually agitate uh, certain groups of people so that they can, for lack of a better term, uh, make the council look bad. No, Mark, you made your goddamn self look bad. We roasted your motherfucking ass last last goddamn week of what you did to Rashad Harris, how you lied about that man, right? You, you was too yellow belly to go goddamn tell a man that you wanted him off the EDC, right? You make your goddamn self look bad screwing over honest business people. You make yourself look like a fucking ass, Marks. Nobody's doing that but you and Barty. When Barty went sung on the motherfucking, on, on the fucking Facebook Live, he made himself look like an ass. When Mayor Barty and Frank lied about the fucking pulmonary embolisms, right? Lied about his shit right there on fucking live. That wasn't no group making him look bad. That was them two jackasses making themselves look bad. And I'm here to tell the citizens of Port Arthur, that we have your best interests at heart. You a fucking liar. We are being good stewards with your money. We're not spending any money frivolously. You're a goddamn liar. And so liar. please, if you see something out on Facebook or somebody or Instagram or wherever else they're going with this stuff, please contact one of us or the city manager and staff so that they can actually share the, the true light about what is being spent here. Because this is... Well, you a goddamn lie, Marks. How many times Mr. Doucette has came up the fucking council meeting, talked to you about that goddamn shit, and y'all didn't, and, and Bartine want to say shit? 
So y- y'all some lying, low down son of a bitches. I mean, I can't stand y'all ri- yellow belly reptilian motherfuckers. Cause y'all goddamn are some lying bitches. You act like you act like we can't pull this shit up. You act like we can't pull this 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 federal money up off fucking Google. You say we need to call you motherfucker, but when we go to the goddamn count, when we go to council to confront you about it, you don't want to say shit. Which one is it, Marx? Damn. Not uh, 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 an effort for the city council or the mayor or any one of us to, to have pleasure trips. This is about taking care of the business of the city of Port Arthur. Well, Marx, all these fucking trips you and the mayor went to, who you, you need to rub elbows with somebody to fix fucking Guffway Drive. You still can't get Guffway Drive fixed, right? And that's by Texas Department of uh, Transportation. That's Texas Dot. Go talk to them, right? Talk to them. See about getting fucking Guffway fixed before you need to go to fucking um, um, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada on some bullshit. And I just wanted to put that on the record before we voted. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman uh, Mark. May I approach him, Frank? Now, now the guy, see, what was the main fucking thing, this dumbass city attorney right there just lo- sitting there looking stupid. She know the motherfucking truth, right? She know you don't need all this shit, but that's why you need to get rid of that motherfucker too. You need to get rid of her ass. I guarantee you, you get rid of the city attorney, this shit will turn around overnight because they don't have no fucking legal protection from these, these, these dumbasses ain't going to know what to do. Yes, sir. I just wanted to thank Councilman Marks for putting a historical per, uh, perspective on travel here uh, in the city of Port Arthur, and especially in, in light of the swath of ignorance and pervasive agitation that continues to be permeated. <laughs> All of this Preach. happens and transpires when individuals don't fully understand what council uh, is about, what council should be doing. Our city has to go to another level. So understand, right? This this part, that, that podcast I did with Short Hat must have burnt all they goddamn asses, right? Because you can't really argue that. You can't really argue what what um screwing over an honest young business person, right? You can't really articulate that. All of them, and, and then when I put the, the the news articles about them taking over the EDC, um, board members say, hey, they're trying to take this. You can't really argue with that shit. So now they lashing out in the best way they know how to. But that's good. Y'all need to keep staying on their ass, right? Because they know they some sellouts, right? They can't see it's burning them on the inside. They know when they look in that mirror, they know they ain't shit, right? They know they ain't shit. When they look at their wives, they, they wives, their husband, or their side chicks, right? They know they ain't shit. And then... All the time they hoping I hope my wife or this side piece I'm cheating on my wife with don't think I'm sh- ho- hopefully they ain't going to find out I ain't shit. But when you look in the motherfucking mirror, y'all lying scum, low down dog manure son of a bitches, y'all will know y'all ain't shit. And that can only be done as we move our city forward and ultimately engage with individuals uh, uh, in a 21st century dynamic and in the room. You have to be in the room for things to happen. You are fucking... <laughs> it, it, it's, it's funny and to say it because these son of a bitches think you are stupid. I just showed you where to go. I just showed you where to go. The room is online. The room is online. Think about it, people. You... <laughs> Every fu- oh, let me let me let me see if I can Google up how many fucking cities in the goddamn country. Let me see. Uh, how many in the how many cities are there in the United States? Let me see what this shit say. <laughs> nah, no, I need that. Nah, I need that. See, the city's range. Uh, no, I need. I need total. Nah, I don't need no just, just over a um, hundred thousand.
Okay. 19,500, right? Number of uh, incorporated city, town, and villages and boroughs across the U.S., right? We're just going to go ahead with this. So you think they have to be over 19,000, close to 20,000 um, people in one room to get the money, to get federal money. That don't make no fucking sense. You telling me it has to be 20,000 individuals, mayors, have to be in the room for you to get money as your representation? No. That that goddamn defeats the fucking purpose of what they're trying to do. Understand, they saying that's being represented, but understand, like I told you, with the state representative, right? We have representation, right? So that each and every city don't have to go to every fucking meeting just to get some money. We have people that do that so city folk can goddamn deal with city issues. So they just straight line to you, man. Like I told you, just like Harold said told you on the on the Parker thing, right? We have um we have representation, right? We have the Joe Des- the state representative, which was Joe Desitel, and we have the uh, TML. So we have representation on certain things, right? But to get this federal damn money, we don't have to go to every, you don't have to have one mayor to go to every fucking meeting. It don't make sense. Who are you going to rub some meeting with? You may be here for one term, maybe here for two terms. You're going, and so you're saying one meeting, they go goddamn remember you? They gonna remember you for three hundred some fucking days, and you going to one fucking meeting? Come on, man! It don't make no sense. But these son of a bitches ain't shit for lying to you like that. That's what get me. These motherfuckers just lie to you like it ain't shit. Happen and to transpire, and so we no longer uh, send signals by drum beat. <laughs> we have to be there. We can. Fl- you don't have to fly there, um, Frank, Donald. You can get, you can do it. It's on the web right now. It's on internet. It's on the metaverse right now, Frank. So you don't have to take, spend taxpayers' dollars to talk to some people. If need be, you can do it on the Zoom. Now, now think about that, right? Frank is trying to tell you, all them dumbass are trying to tell you that you have to fly to go to this stuff. Where Frank said we don't have to do smoke signals, we can do a Zoom meeting. <laughs> Man, look. This shit is so simple to figure out. You just have to understand their lies. You can do this shit by a Zoom meeting. So it doesn't make no sense. You have to travel. You have to be a certain way to get some federal money. You have to be in the room. The room is virtual, man. Fly, we can go. Uh, we can um, uh, ultimately engage. So I thank you, uh, Councilman, uh, for uh, addressing that. Uh, and I pray that those who come before this council would really, 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 really do their due diligence in understanding the historical perspective. And I would, I would. Well, you son of a gun don't even know what fucking type of government y'all are in, you dumb son of a bitches. Council manager, not strong male. I would ask that question. If that person were on council, uh, had, would they travel or had they traveled? And then I think that would help us to fill it fully, fully uh, help us to do what we need to be done in our city. Okay. Any other comments? We're ready to vote. All in favor? Aye. Any opposers? Aye. So, people, this is the dumb shit that we have to deal with. They literally think you're stupid. They really think you're stupid, and that you don't know better. And that's why we have to get, see, that's why I'm so venomous on the ass, right? That's why I drop bombs, curse these lines on the guns, because I know this shit. I know the historical lies. They keep telling you they're the same fucking lie over and over and over and over. These dummies don't have anything new. So, man, look, just... People, man, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Play this back if you have to. You can just Google this stuff. You can Google um, 
um, how cities get finances, funding for cities, local cities, funding, you know, you can pull it up. Hell, you can put TML, TML, Texas Municipal League, or uh, NLC, National League of Cities, funding. And they'll pull up some of this stuff and they tell you, man, but this, that's crazy. These people don't have no motherfucking sense on the lies that they tell them. But uh, everybody, take it easy. Peace.